The practice of chair stand helps cultivate strength in the lower body and can be an important way to help maintain independence. To practice, be sure you have a sturdy chair on a non-slip surface and come toward the front of your chair, finding your sit bones, moving the flesh away so that your sit bones rest on the seat of the chair, your feet rest on the floor, and allow the very top of your head to extend up toward the sky. Bring the pinky side of your hand to the hip hinge. That's the crease where the leg and the torso meet. Take an easy breath in and out. And then as you're ready, on an inhalation, lengthen up through the crown of the head. On an exhalation, hinge forward just a little bit from the hips. Activate your legs. Press into your legs as if you were going to stand. But then just relax. Just sit back and relax. So for some of us, this as if I was going to stand practice may be enough. It can help cultivate strength in the legs. For those of us who are interested and able to come to standing, we'll find the hip hinge, lengthen up through the crown of the head, take an easy breath in. On an exhalation, let's hinge from the hips Activate the legs, press into the ground, use the strength of the legs to come to standing in mountain pose. Take an easy breath here. When you're ready to sit, please bend your knees, stick your bottom way back, float your arms forward, and slowly lower yourself into the chair. And we'll do this a few times. On the inhalation, sit nice and tall. On the exhalation, hinge from the hips. Activate your legs, use the strength of the legs to come to standing, to sit again, bend the knees, stick the bottom way back, float the arms forward, slowly lower yourself into your chair. So please continue this at your own pace, rest if you need to, standing and then sitting again. If you find that you're a little nervous about sitting, you're not sure if the chair's really there, it's fine to walk your legs back so you can feel the chair at the back of your legs as you come to sitting. Be sure that you keep that nice long line of the spine, ear, shoulder, hip in alignment, slowly lowering down. And then if you'd like to add a little more spice, you might consider when you're just above the chair, when your bottom is just about to come into the seat, hover there for a few breaths. Keep your chest forward, keep your gaze forward, your shoulders relaxed and down, maybe even a little smile on your face, easy breath. And then as you're ready, lower yourself into the chair. If you get into the habit of practicing chair stand regularly, even a few times throughout your day, you may be surprised at how much strength and balance you can cultivate. When you've finished your practice, you might even sit tall in seated mountain pose, maybe place both hands over your heart, close your eyes. You might feel your heart beating, the effects of that practice and some gratitude to your heart for all the hard work it does in helping you with challenges. And then rest your hands on your lap. Enjoy your practice.